hello guys and welcome if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on such great content now in today's video we are going to talk about fedora 40 which was recently released and it comes with so so much great features which i know you will like and let's talk about uh some of those features now the settings app has been updated and as you can see now in the settings in the system uh, system settings pane has been grouped to include the following which is region and language date and time users remote desktop secure shell about and updates now to begin with first i've installed fedora 40 on on the uh, bare metal that is on lenovo slim 7 uh, in on lenovo slim 7 i which has a 12 gen intel processor core i7 12700h with 14 cores 16 gigs of memory and also one terabyte of storage now one great feature that many people have been were waiting and uh, finally it has come to fedora is the gnome 46 version the latest version of gnome which is gnome 46 is what is used in fedora and i'm using of course wayland and one important thing also is that the fedora 40 ships with linux kernel 6.8 which is the latest version of the linux kernel and that is really great and good to know and also moving on we're going to talk about the files global search you can now search you can set what to search on the on the here on search and filter you can select the dates you want to when the files are created or modified or last used and then what you want to search you can search anything you can search files folders documents illustration and so forth and that is a great feature now there's an experimental feature which has been added which is a variable refresh rate and there's a command to update the command in my text editor it is g settings set Org dot norm dot matter experimental features variable refresh rate now once you've uh, en once you've entered the com that command you'll go to displays and in displays and under variable under refresh rate which will be now you will now get variable refresh rate as an option to enable or disable once you enable it you can now be able to set the 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 maximum refresh rate which is a 120 and then the minimum for this computer is 48 hertz now the refresh rate will vary dynamically from 48 to 120 on this computer because i've set the maximum to be 120 hertz now that's great and i think it will be able also to save some battery i think so rather than just uh refreshing at 60 hertz all the time or 120 hertz all the time and and using a lot of battery while it can dial down when you are not uh viewing videos or anything if you're just uh, viewing static images and things like that you'll be able to dial down to lower frequency now moving on we are going to talk about the settings pane as you can see has been the settings app has been updated and as you can see the region and language date and time users remote desktop secure shell about all uh, all these settings have, have been grouped in one pane and called a system now the next thing that I want to talk about is 
speed boost uh, on the terminal apps. The terminal apps have been boosted in terms of speed and they are now snipier and much faster. And the one thing that I want to talk about also is the is that PyTorch is now available as a software. You can install it on Fedora using the command sudo dnf install python3 torch just you, just like you would install any software on on uh, fedora now pytorch is a python library for deep learning and it is it is a good thing that now uh, fedora is supporting it its installation as a software now thanks guys for watching and i hope you learned something from the video please like share and also click the notification bell and be sure to subscribe for more such great content thank you guys bye bye